Morning everyone, so we woke up very early this morning, came straight to Main Dam to hear if we could hear any uh, lions roaring and we managed to find one of the Naru females. She's just in front here and look at that, there's a red road male coming towards her. What a fantastic way to start. So we've only got two lionesses here with this male, so we're still missing four females. I'm not sure where they are, it's just the two females here with the male at the moment. Sure you can hear behind us a lot of impala rutting. And these lionesses look to have been hunting throughout the night and they've not been successful, so they're showing some interest in these impala. Just watching these three how their body language changes as soon as they hear that rutting male impala. They go from relaxing in the grass to as they hear that rutting male impala to up, ears up and ready to go. I think it's just because those male impala just run all over the place without worrying what's in the bush because they've got one thing on their mind. So just zooming in here on Red Road, we haven't actually been able to get such good close-ups of him. But I'm going to zoom in on that large scar on his forehead. We haven't seen with that scar since we last saw him. So he's obviously doing a good job battling. That face has got a lot of battle scars and he's still a young male. But he seems to be doing an amazing job with this area around Main Dam with the Naru Pride. Such a beautiful male. You can just see the difference in his mane compared to that open male. This guy's a lot more reddish in color. That open male has got a very, very dark mane, and the other open male's got a very, very light ish mane. It's quite amazing to see these young lionesses. When I first started at Tinswala, the Naru Pride at that time were called the Birmingham Pride. The three lionesses broke away from the Birmingham Pride with the five Birmingham males and moved down from the Timbavati into the area around Tinswala. They stayed around Tinswala for quite a long time, these three lionesses and the five males. A lot of the time they were killing buffalo. Eventually the two Solati males at the time, or the southern males from the Sabi Sands, came up and pushed those five Birmingham males away from these females and pushed them down towards the Sabi Sands. The three Nauru females then joined the two Salati males. We obviously named them the Naru, means three, to change the name from the Birmingham. They then set up this area around Main Dam and Main Camp and uh, expanded the pride. One of the interesting things that Neil and I were chatting about yesterday was because the original three Naru lionesses broke away from the Birmingham pride, do they possess that gene, that rare recessive gene, to have white cubs. Time will only tell, but their sisters or mothers in that pride have that gene and have produced white cubs. So we never know, maybe we will get white cubs in the Manuleti one day from this pride. Really beautiful birchal starling. You see that iridescent blue as the sun hits him. 
They don't look like much when there's not sun on them, but when the sun is shining on them, they look absolutely beautiful. Right, we've just got a, quite a rare antelope here. It's a common reed buck. In this area, we don't normally see these guys too much. But when we do see them, we see them on these open flay areas. They love those areas. Open flays or grassland. We're making our way into this area where we can see vultures going down and the vultures sitting in the trees. Let's hope there's something here. After following up on those vultures in the trees, we've been searching for quite a while. We managed to find an impala ram on the ground that's getting eaten clean by vultures. Now this is either predator activity or like we've been seeing the last couple of drives, how ferocious the male impalas are with each other and fighting. Maybe this guy got it wrong and got a horn somewhere where he shouldn't have got it. Um, but it also could be predator activity, so we're going to go and have a look. Comes a jackal. White-backed vultures at the carcass at the moment. Just going to get the jack all in there. So when you see a group of vultures together, it's actually a kettle of vultures. Three more jackals, whole family coming. Wow, you should see all the vultures coming in now, guys. This is just unbelievable. Vulture's eyesight is incredible. I mean, we started off with two or three here, and now they're just coming in from everywhere. It's a hooded vulture dropping there, another hooded vulture. Some white back, more white backs. You'll see how the White backs are dominating the hooded vultures. The hooded vultures have got to be on the outskirts. They're a much smaller vulture than the white backs. But they'll go in later when there's little bits of meat that the white backs couldn't get into. Thank you. 